we're rolling. Right, yeah, we're take rolling. one. Right. <sighs> Hang on, okay. We're not rolling, the brakes are on. Boom, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, apologies, we're doing this in the car because we are mid, uh, we're in between training sessions right now. Big thanks to Holly, the cameraman. She's actually stood outside in the cold. <laughs> um, legend, thank you very much. But yeah, I am David Weatherall, Paralympic table tennis player. I started playing when I broke my leg as a 10 year old. Um, what are you fiddling with? <laughs> I'm trying to get the brightness up. Oh, it's cool. Right, so I was born with a bone condition called multiple epiphyseal dysplasia, which in layman's terms basically means that all my bones are misshapen, they don't grow properly. So that causes quite a lot of, um, you know, the range of movement in my bones is not great and quite a lot of joint pain. So, you know, that kind of, stop laughing, that kind of has a massive impact on, on my kind of whole psyche with my sport and table tennis and fitness. Um, I try and keep as fit as possible because it really helps, you know, limit the joint pain. If the muscu muscular stability around my joints is, is as good as possible, then, you know, I really feel a difference. So, you know, table tennis, oh, like to go on. No, all good. Right, so table <laughs> tennis has given me quite a good um, outlook for that. And I, I think I started playing um, as a 10 year old. I broke my leg playing football and I kind of started playing as rehabilitation to start with. And it kind of gave me a real good sense of purpose and and everything with the Paralympics and and I kind of loved it from the start I think I really I think in in the terms of <clears throat> I love the fact that I can I can be as strong as possible and I can make up for my physical limitations with my brain and I really can feel like I can your phone's going now there we go I really feel like <laughs> I can compete alongside a um, able-bodied athletes as as much as possible and and obviously I'm quite good at it as well so that kind of helps um but yeah onto the fun stuff I I kind of, I've been at three Paralympic Games now. I'm currently a European champion, training real hard for um, Tokyo 2020. So that's my big goal. I've I've had match point in the quarterfinals a couple of times now against the number one seed, and I think I was hampered a little bit in London with my I had a broken arm, so that kind of hampered me a little bit. But hopefully, I'll have a top four seed in come Tokyo, and you know, I have a really good chance. And you know, I'm, I'm working every day now, the same as when I was younger. To be honest, I always always wanted to better myself every day and I think you know table tennis has given me that that kind of massive opportunity in life and and, and without that obviously the tough times the pain and everything would be a lot harder so big up table tennis thank you very much um so yeah I'm currently based in in Plymouth 29 years old and I spend one week every month in the national center training with the national team um, which is obviously obviously really good but I love being back down here it's it's we're in Plymouth now it's it's my home and and um Holly's, uh, Holly's phone's buzzing. And I feel like my phone's going to run out of battery soon anyway. Right, <coughs> so we wrap it up. Yeah, table tennis is cool. Um, it's, it's kind of my life and I, and I play every day and train every day. And, you know, fingers crossed for the future, we can, uh, we can achieve our goals. So cheers, Holly. Thanks for the help. You're Peace. so welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how do I stop it? <laughs> Babe, I've got...